I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. Last night, I attended an event in Sydney hosted by Norwegian Cruise Line to announce their brand new Prima Plus class ship, Norwegian Luna. Let's take a look at what this ship will bring when she debuts in 2026 and a little bit of a behind the scenes look at last night's event. Norwegian Cruise Line only debuted its first Prima class ships a couple of years ago. The first two are Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva. Bucking the usual trend of ever larger cruise ships, the Prima class actually were the smallest ships that Norwegian Cruise Line built since 2007. That really goes against the grain of ever larger cruise ships and I actually found it really interesting. Reviews for Prima and Viva are generally positive, a little bit mixed when it comes to a sense of crowding on board and in particular apparently the pool deck is quite compact. I've not cruised on one of these ships myself so I can't comment from personal experience but it does look like in general people really appreciate the modern design and a lot of the tech elements that NCL brought to these ships when they launched. So in a change to the Prima class, NCL first announced the Prima Plus class ships. So these are slightly larger than the original ships. The first one will be Norwegian Aqua and she launches in March 2025. The cruise line yesterday announced its newest Prima Plus ship will be Norwegian Luna. She will debut in April 2026. Prima Plus obviously represents a bigger size ship so we're talking about 156,000 gross tons versus the original Prima class of 142,000 gross tons so not a huge difference but each of the Plus class ships will also carry roughly three to 400 more passengers. On board the general concept remains the same, the wraparound promenade called Ocean Boulevard makes a return. Think of it as an overflow space for the somewhat small pool deck which remains unchanged up top. Plus the Ocean Boulevard offers alfresco dining and there's even swimming at Infinity Beach, NCL's stunning take on the Instagram worthy Infinity Pool. There's also a 10 story dry slide called the Drop which still carries over from the original Prima class ships. Norwegian Cruise Line's racetrack first debuted on Norwegian Joy in 2017 and it's appeared on each successive NCL ship including both Prima and Viva. That's set to change on Aqua and Luna with the race track replaced with a three story first in the market roller coaster come water slide. It will be called the Aqua Slide Coaster. It's a two person ride and it wraps around the ship's three topmost levels. And there are two of them so people can even duel. There's also the Glow Court, a digital sports court that turns into a club at night. And that takes over the space previously used as an observation area for the racetrack. The kids aqua park is also repositioned and expanded which should help provide for a slightly more family friendly onboard environment. Last night I attended Norwegian Cruise Line's local launch event in Sydney and it was held at Asta, a rooftop bar on the very top of the Intercontinental Hotel. I am completely biased of course but Sydney is just spectacular from every angle and especially from a rooftop bar. There were a range of invited guests including representatives from CLIA and other trade and consumer journalists. We heard from Ben Angel, Managing Director of NCL APAC, who explained a little bit more about what we can expect to see on the new Prima Plus class ships. There was also an artist who painted a scene from Istanbul with one lucky punter winning the artwork. And in retrospect, the announcement for Norwegian Luna coincided with the supermoon, so it was actually perfect timing. Don't know if that was on purpose or not, but either way, astronomer Dr. Lopez Sanchez was also in attendance. Through his incredible telescope, we were able to view the moon up close and he even snapped this brilliant photo on my phone. Now, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of us in the crowd did think that NCL might be coming through with some sort of an announcement about a local Prima debut or Prima Plus debut in the coming years, but unfortunately that did not happen. Norwegian Cruise Line remains committed to its fly cruise marketing efforts. So essentially they bring people into Australia from overseas markets, typically like America and the UK and Europe to cruise in Australia. And then they want us to go overseas to cruise in places like Europe, the US and elsewhere. It sort of goes against the grain of what we expect from local cruising. And it's one of the reasons that Norwegian Cruise Line's local itineraries 
are limited and not necessarily the best in terms of what we're used to. Australians are travelers. We go overseas in our millions. We jump on planes like almost nobody else. But when it comes to cruising, a lot of us do that locally. So I don't know if going forward, NCL will need to revisit their concepts for cruising in Australia or perhaps bring down under a newer ship like a Prima ship or a Prima Plus ship to at least give people a taste of the NCL experience that they can have overseas. As much as I love Spirit, and you can check out my full ship tour and cruise review from my time on board earlier this year, there's no doubt that the Prima Plus ships and the Prima ships are very different. And even other ships within the NCL fleet would probably compete a little bit better with these ships that we commonly see down under from cruise lines like Royal Caribbean, an NCL competitor. I don't know that that will happen because NCL really have come out very recently and committed to this fly cruise strategy so it must be working for them but I do think that Australians are a very unique bunch we are a unique cruise market we're not like America we're not like Europe we have cruise lovers within this country per capita one of the highest in the world so I do think there's great potential for a cruise line like NCL here I think they need to rework how they deal with our market locally because if they want people to fly overseas to experience their product, maybe they should bring something down under to give people a taste of what that is. And I'm not suggesting that they do something like Virgin did, which to me was still one of the worst product launches in history when it comes to cruising in any market. But I digress. I do think that with correct planning, correct itinerary planning, and a little bit more lead time, they could potentially harness Australians' love for cruising, give them a taste of the NCL product, and I reckon that they're gonna have a whole legion of fans that are developed in doing that. But we'll see if it happens. I have no idea, no crystal ball here, just my opinion. Either way, it was a fantastic event. I'm very grateful for the invitation, so big thanks to NCL for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would be interested in sailing on a Prima or Prima Plus class ship, let me know in the comments, I'm curious. If you want to book yourself on an NCL cruise or any other cruise, you can head to my website. Uh, I have an amazing search tool on there. Plus, I'm partnered with a brilliant travel agent partner, Cynthia. So you can go and have a look at my website, thecruiseandtravelguy.com.au before you make your next holiday plans. And give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram at The Cruise and Travel Guy. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you soon. I'm Adrian, The Cruise and Travel Guy. Last night, I attended an event in Sydney to launch what? I'm Adrian, oh. Norwegian Cruise Line first debuted its Prima class ships in 2022 and 2023 with Norwegian Prima and Viva, the two ships. What? The Cruise Line yesterday announced its newest Prima class class.